Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of the Mastering Magica Voxel course. Today we're going to talk about shaders, so let's get started. Shaders in Magica Voxel refer to what other 3D software refers as plugins. Basically are user-made tools for you to make very specific things. They are programmed and distributed by users of Magica Voxel. There's a bunch of places where you can find collections of shaders and I will leave some links in the description of this video. The best way to find them is just Google Magica Voxel shaders online and try to find something that you can download. For instance, we have the first link here is a GitHub with a bunch of shaders that you can just download made by Mr. McDonald. Here you can read all the information underneath to know how to install them and everything but I will show you to just click here where it says code and then click where it says download zip. When you click that you will get a little file, I have it here on my desktop and all you need to do is uncompress this file and you, get, you will get a folder. I will open these folders and in here you see I have all the shaders and a bunch of things here you don't really need all of those i think and we have all of the shaders here if you see shaders are basically a txt file with a bunch of code in it so you can learn how to code and create your own shaders if you want it and then i will open my magica voxel folder this is basically the folder where you have magica voxel installed so i will open this so here is magica voxel here are my shaders. So within Magica Voxel, you will have the shaders folder. If you open it, you will see that you already have some shaders that come with Magica Voxel, but I will create a new folder just to keep things separated. And I will call this downloaded. And inside of this folder, I will just select everything and copy it over. And that's how you install shaders in Magica Voxel. If we open Magica Voxel now, you will see that all of these shaders are already ready to use. Good, so let's double click on magicavoxel.exe now to open it. And as you can see, if I go to the shaders tab here, you will see that we have all the shaders that already come with Magica Voxel, and we also have this folder that I created, downloaded. If you click it, you will see that you have the subfolders and all of the shaders that are within that folder. This can be a bit confusing because it doesn't work like normal folders that you click it and it opens and you still have everything else. So as you can see, now we are seeing all of the contents of Brush, but if I go back to Downloaded, we see all the contents of Downloaded and the subfolders. Just to show you so you understand it, within the shaders folder we have Downloaded and we have three folders and then all of the things. And that's what we are seeing here, the three folders and all of the shaders that we have. If I click on shader instead, we're going to see the contents of that folder, which is this one. So we have the subfolder and all of the shaders. So don't be confused when you're clicking around, everything changes and you are only seeing the contents of the folder you have selected at the moment. The thing with shaders is that each one of them uh, differently and most times by different people. So they work on a different manner. So it's really a trial and error to figure out how they work. So I will just demo some shaders for you, but there's no point on me showing you how to use each one because sometimes are very, very simple. But for instance, let's go to a brush shader. So I click on brush and I click bricks. And as soon as I do that, a bunch of options show up here on these uh, on the shader panel. So I can just make this a bit bigger, not too much, unfortunately, it goes all the way there. And then make sure to, that you are using the shader mode here. So just click here and make sure that you're using attach. Once you do that, when you start clicking and dragging your selection, you will see that automatically you get something in your working area. How this looks will be depending on the input here. And if you don't press enter right now, you can still change this. So you can, for instance, change the direction of the bricks. You can change the width. You can change the height. So basically, I invite you to try and move these sliders to test different things out. And if you press enter, then you commit it to your selection and then you can just go back to your know, box mode and continue to edit this however you want. So let's delete that and try something different. That diagonal shader, if I start creating one, back to, back to the attach and shader mode, I will start creating and dragging a selection and you see that I get this pattern automatically. So that's what the shaders are there for, to make specific things that you might need for something. Then we have, for instance, the gradient shader. And this is one that if you just create a box, you might be confused on how it works, but you have the option to select several colors 
and it will create a gradient of those colors even if you create it as gradient yourself with control alt click and drag i'll create a gradient like that and i select all of these colors you see that i will start creating a gradient with those colors you have options for instance the dether you will create this um like fade between the colors and you can change the mode to have different kinds of gradients and the best you can do is have a single row so magic of voxel will understand it a bit better but you see it's very it's pretty good at creating these gradients that if you had to do by hand it would be very annoying so in some cases shaders can be amazing but if you are a maximalist this is a tool that you must try out right moving on we have primitive shaders and they will create stuff like a tube that you can change the thickness of to to make something for your scene or there are some mathematical generated geometries or a prism that you can change the proportions of so there are very very cool stuff and i invite you to install all of them and and try them out and i'm sure you will find something that will be helpful for you in the future so as you can see it's very very simple uh, additionally i want to give a little shout out if you go to my discord server and you go to the magica voxel resources tab you will find in here a very detailed tutorial and demo of plenty of the shaders that was made by dr pixel i will leave his youtube channel in the description of this video so you can follow him and basically it's the same deal you can copy this create a txt file and shove it in the folder as i show you on the beginning of this video and that will basically install the shader for you to use it and in here he shows how to use them basically so that's very cool sometimes shaders will work in one version of magic of voxel and not on the on the others so this is something that you will find that you will try a shader and, and it doesn't work and this is because people create the shaders and sometimes they don't keep updating it over time and if you want to find a lot of shaders just go to the description of this video and i will link people that already uploaded collections of shaders otherwise otherwise you can go probably to the magica voxel community server the link will be in the description as well and in here you can just request if someone knows about a collection of shaders and i'm sure they will be able to help you too so this is a very short video because this topic is more of something that you need to explore on your own to understand how things work if you find something that you don't understand just let me know in the comments and i will do my best to reply so thank you and see you on the next video